Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel, or should we say bonjour? bonjour. <laughs> so I'm Laura. Je m'appelle Ryan. <laughs> nice. And we are here today with a snack crate. And the reason we're low-key talking in French is because we're going to France. Yes. So. I love that image. <laughs> it's so almost offensively on the nose with the yes. mime who's holding a baguette. There's a croissant. There's uh yeah, that's... All right, so I'm just gonna pull everything out as we All always right. do, and then we have our spoiler sheet, and I'm trying to organize them because we always seem to go savory I, to sweet. I have to say, oh I am already liking what I'm seeing. I will admit to being disappointed with the Caribbean one. Yeah. And I think this is going to redeem it. Yeah. So. You see the we'll uh, show fleur de lis you. on the uh, the bottom. So as always, there's like a fun little write up. Um, in the box, so we do like to look at that once we're done filming, but we will not waste your time with that today um, But yeah, so they've got the spoiler sheet and oh that looks like a delicious sandwich there that we Yes, can make. so it's a croque monsieur I used to be good at French and now don't ask me what any of it means But and I was so... never good at French, but after a few beers if you just Adopt the right swagger when you're nice. in Quebec. Yeah, they, when we went to Quebec, uh, when was that? Like 2017? Yeah, Canada 150. Oh, like, they thought, like, the way Ryan greeted them, like, without <laughs> going into more, like, just through the greeting, they really thought that he was French. Me? They're like, no, they instantly would start in English. <laughs> and it's like, thank you. Anyways, so we have a few, looks like two savory things, and then the rest are sweet. So do you want to do the savory things yes, first? Yes, please. Okay, I, you pick which one, and then I will read I, about I'm it. I'm really excited. I just like, like I said, I mean it. I like what I'm seeing. I yeah. think this is going to be, I think it's all going to be good. So we will start with, uh, with these. Okay, so these are called Brett's Chips. This bag of crunchy potato chips will jumpstart your taste buds with the nutty flavors of goat cheese combined and the vigor of espalette pepper. Chili peppers. Okie doke. Well. Chili peppers and goat cheese. <laughs> I, I think it'll work. Could be delicious. I also, I, I don't know, because I mean, this is just French junk food, not fine Ooh, French food, so but if it'll be a little bit um, a subtle, sedate a bit, just more, more refined. So it's just like a... So I have one that's really... I'm going for one in there that I see that's quite coated. Oh, nice. More so. Okay. Two Let's double go. one. Oh, wow. That is very strongly goat cheese. But I'm not mad about it. Yeah, it's not... It's not, um... Like, it's not offensive in any mm -hmm. way. It, it tastes... For lack of a better term, it tastes more real than I expected that it would. Yeah. I'm not getting yes. the chili pepper at all, though. No, I don't taste any spice at all either, but... And I wanted, yeah. like, you know, I was excited about oh. that. That's why I went for more coated ones. Those will not go I'm, to waste. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just have another to be sure. Okay. Well, I'm gonna show them the next one. So, these are just regular Lay's, which we do have here. But this flavor seems to be roasted chicken. So, it says these crispy potato chips are bursting with flavor. Or, I mean, sorry. Rewind. Bursting with the succulent flavor of savory roasted chicken straight from a farm in the French countryside. Wow. Okay. Well, let's open it up. All right. I love these boxes. Like, yeah, it's. Uh, I think we're going to cancel fun. it like once we get into the summer just because we have. Like, just a like lot. how we only put out one video a week for 2022. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like that. So okay. stay tuned because we're going to keep going with it apparently. <laughs> Chips never smell good when, they, when you first open them. Oh, hmm. Mm. Tastes yeah. like Swiss Chalet sauce. Yes, yes. Or, I don't know, do you guys have St. Hubert's down there? No, they don't. Oh, geez, okay, sorry. <laughs> That's very much Anyways, a Quebec thing. <laughs> come to Canada. Come yeah. Come to Swiss Chalet with us. And yeah, <laughs> our treat. <laughs> it's not a fancy place, but it's a good place. Those are nice. Yeah, I am... <laughs> two for two. Yeah, we like. Yeah, I'll be enjoying we'll, those after yeah. the video. We only do a small sampling, so we don't keep you for a thousand years. But 
Um, let's get into the next thing. So they are. Can you please pass me some more palate cleansing vodka? Oh, it's Thank vodka you. today. Shouldn't it be like white wine or red wine from France? Yeah, uh, that, that would that make would sense. Yeah. There's vodka in Poland. Anyways, we have two of these, so I'm thinking they're the same. So I'm only gonna open one. Oh. Yeah, so they are Petit et Collier, a French favorite for a good reason. These crispy, sweet, and buttery shortbread cookies topped with a generous layer of rich chocolate. Wait. Okay, that didn't make, there's, there's missing a word in there, but I didn't read it wrong. That's just how it's written. Oh, these look like something that I eat every day at work. We have these things called celebration cookies. Oh, oh yes. hell yeah. Do you want to just share one? Who is uh, who is this chap, I wonder? <laughs> I like wanna, it. Do you want to split that or? I am just afraid of the mess that I may make by splitting it, but sure, let's okay, do it. Let's do it. Lady in the Tramp style? No. We no. Don't one at a time. Get your crumbs. Oh, look, you didn't make a mess at all. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That bar exceeds mm -hmm. your celebration cookie, yeah. in my opinion. The because of the cookie. The cookie part is very, like... And I was going to say the chocolate's better. And I like that it's not, it's not like, super flavorful chocolate to me. It's just, mm -hmm. like, it's present. But mm -hmm. it's not, uh, it's not, like, pow, like, fake sugary chocolate. That is good. I like that. I think we should go nuts. Sure. Let's go nuts. So... These are Nestle Nuts. Nutty, creamy, caramelly, and deliciously coated in milk chocolate. This Nestle chocolate bar is a heavenly treat that you won't be able to resist. All right. Nutri-score. I, I, I want to know more about this, actually. Well, they have it. That's how they, that's how they rate their stuff. So there's a Nutri-score. This one's a C. Oh, that's this an E. This is an E. <laughs> that must be kind of how they rate their stuff in France. So the other chips are a C as well. That is interesting and you know in back to the school days that you like an E wasn't a grade. Mm -hmm. Like why do we uh you know we skip from D to F? Huh? I don't know. I don't know. I don't ask questions like that because you'll never know the answer. And also another school thing it's like remember all those essays with the word limit or not limit rather, but more so a minimum. Yeah. Five pages on this, 2,000 word minimum. And then of course in real life, it's like, explain it to me in 30 seconds or less. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's true. Okay, I'm gonna show them what it looks like on the inside, just in case you're curious. <laughs> there it is. So that looks really good. What do you think? It's, yeah. it's really good. Yeah, I don't. What is it like? I don't have a lot of chocolate bars with nuts. It, it, to me, it's like a, a Mars bar with mm. sort of a nutty layer, mm -hmm. but it, it's very good. Oh, that's really good. I expected there to be like a cookie layer, mm. and I'm really glad that there's not, because I love that, like, is that like... nougat -y. Yeah, is that nougat? Kind of the chewy, yeah, it's like a Mars bar with some peanuts in it, and... But is there an already, like, what's a Snickers bar? How is that different than a Snickers bar? I don't know. This tastes better to me. It tastes almost less peanutty. Mm. Like Snickers is very strongly peanut to me. Anyways, I don't know. I like that. Okay. So it looks like we have like kind of. So we have two each of these. Yeah, I think we'll share them. So these are going to be very exciting. So they're called Tet Brulee. So I think Tet is head. And that's what it says. Aptly named, these hot headed chewy candies have an intensely sour coating that melts away to, re uh, to reveal a soft, sweet, and fruity center. Mm. So, are they chewy? Okay. Yes. Okay, oh my gosh, we're not gonna be able to, I don't know, we're gonna might just have to like... A Maybe we should pivot and end the video with these. Okay, yeah, you then, get we can, to like, see our sour then we can faces. like fast forward and, good idea. So, moving on to this. This is called a Haribo Orangina Pick. The mm. tangy citrus flavors of the ever popular Orangina Soda are the perfect complement to these soft, chewy, and slightly sour gummies. I think the scissors may work best for this pack. I'm very these, excited about okay, this. Okay, when you were a kid, please tell me, people in the States that are like of similar age to me, did you eat 
the little lunch snack packs that resembled like pop bottles. So there was like an orange pop one, there was a root beer, there was a grape one. Did you have those? You didn't really like candy. I like too much of no. How, um, how old oh are God. you these days? Like 39? No, I'm just kidding. 33. I am 33. I always forget. So for some reason there's like all yellow ex with the exception of like two or three that are red. So I don't know if we should try them both. That's good. So to me, it's like, okay, well, first of all, how could it be bad? Mm. But it's more chewy than I, than I feel it should be. I yeah. don't know if that's just bad luck with it being a little bit stale, although apparently no. it's good until March 2023. No, no, no. It's not stale. That's just how they make the, the gummy. But yeah, it's too, like the gummy's too thick. Mm -hmm. Or like, I don't know. The flavor's really good. Too much resistance to the power of my teeth. You know, that like eraser kind of uh, texture. Here we go. Comparing food to things that, that we should be That was a fun video. That was a fun video. Our it first was. tasting video. Yeah. So we will get back to these, these, uh, these sour things, and we'll see how so this goes. One is strawberry, because it says phrase, and one is apple, because it says palm. All right. Okay. I'm going to open the green one. I'm gonna start with the strawberry one. I'm kind of scared. They look like like that reminds me of like hazard tape. Like, <laughs> oh okay. So it's like a like resembles an airhead. I'm just thinking it's mm. gonna be hard to eat. We might have to no. fast forward. It's more like a fruit. Like it sort of reminds me of a fruit roll up. Yeah, it's just like an airhead. It's not really like a fruit roll up, but maybe mm. you just don't remember. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those ones that gets stuck in your. It's like right in those teeth now. Mm -hmm. So I'll be tonguing at it. Like... Yeah, that's why we saved it to the end. That's really good. Mm -hmm. I really like, excuse me, I really like apple. I'm probably just going to wait to eat. Strawberry, because it's gonna be three years while I chew this green one. <laughs> it's getting more sour. The green, the green one. I thought it said it went from sour to sweet, but anyways. <laughs> yeah, how do we wrap this sucker up? <laughs> this is uh, it's good though. So I was very impressed. This snack rate, it you know above and beyond my expectations, especially after. <laughs> The Caribbean Sorry. box, which was it's sort so of lackluster. Cute. It's stuck in my teeth, people. <laughs> okay. How no, I think Poland mm -hmm. was another very good one. Mm -hmm. Poland well, was so good. Like, our DIY one was quite good. That was yep. our very first one. So what's the other one that I'm missing? There was one Hong in Kong. Right. Hong Kong was our first snack crate. Then we got Poland. Then we got Caribbean, and now we have this one, which is France. Yeah. So definitely like France I would say may take the cake for me. Oh, really? Because I enjoyed everything. Mm. I was going to say Poland. Because, I don't know. I just really liked it. But this it one's had those this little one's bagel, really good. bagel bite yeah. things. Yeah, mm. those were quite good. Those were so good. So, yeah. So, that brings us to the end of today's video. Because we're going to just kind of tuck the candy away in our cheeks and <laughs> start talking and move on. But let us know in the comments down below if something that we tried today is something you would be interested in or if you looked at it and went ew that's gross i would never eat that um but yeah so that's the end of today's video so yeah. if you like this video give us a big thumbs up and as always we will see you guys in the next video <laughs> au revoir